Hi, welcome back to another episode of Afro 3D Printer. Today, we're going to look at some Kodak filament. I reached out to Dimian Kodak and he kindly offered to him some um, Kodak filament. Now, Kodak has a long history, over 150 years. They were basically founded in 1888. So, they have a long polymer history, really long. They, everyone knows them for making cameras, obviously. But previous to that, they were making steering wheels, um, casino chips, radios, anything to do with polymers. They were, they were actually there doing it. I'm at the 1888. They were making things from, well, everyone knows about them making films, obviously, like Kodak Chrome, Chrome, etc., for their special Kodak moments, yeah? Eastman Kodak, everyone knows Eastman Kodak. But for films, basically, photography and movies, films, etc., the 3D printing market with their, even their knowledge of polymers and Kodak is now in, is now levering their long experience of Kodak is now leaving their knowledge of polymer technology into the production of 3D printing filament. They've got a vast knowledge and experience producing what I would call quality engineering grade filament. I'm not joking, the filament is real quality. Now let's have a look at what filaments they're doing. They've got HIP hips, hips, dissolvable filaments, yeah, for support structures. Unfortunately, I don't have um, a dual extruder printer to test that out, but I did print, it's supposed to be as strong as PLA, so I did print a few pieces of that. What I printed out also was um, their flex, which is very good, and also I printed out, although it's for expert use, I must state for expert users. I am nowhere near an expert, but I still got some very good results from it. Also, they're PLA Tough, which is what I am really, really impressed with. That um, amazing filament, I mean, I can show you, it's just kind of like amazing stuff. This stuff is super tough. I mean, for a bracket, this is a bracket. This is the real deal. It's not a joke, this is not normal PLA, this is PLA tough and it is really tough. So this is a bracket I printed out and as you can see it's an extrusion bracket and it came out really well. I printed a few other things, printed some parts for the CR10 I put behind me. Then I went on to print some other parts. Yeah, I played with different infos, that is very tough. Then I played with some more and that is equally just as tough. This is just kind of like, you can, you can sit on this and I guarantee, well I won't guarantee, no, sit on it at your own risk. But I could say that this is really tough, really tough. I mean, the name says what it is. It says what it is in a can basically, it's tough. Yeah. Now all of the um, PLA, or hips or whatever you get, or have a Pantan code number. So if an engineer, or designer, or whatever, you get the exact color that you want. Now this is a new trend amongst all of the major players by doing Pantan colors. All the big players already do Pan code, and Kodak is no different. They, they um, continue that trend. You got the diameter, the weight, the recommended printing temperatures, and a QR code. QR code is very interesting. Very good choice, yeah. And also, I mean, at the bottom of this page here, at the end, I, I'll tell you what, check out Filament's directory because they're registered, Kodak is registered Filament's directory, and you can check out what other users find suits is really suitable for them. Because it's not just the temperature here, every machine is different, every extruder is different. So, if you have a machine and it's, you play with this stuff and it doesn't work, to the way you think it should, check out Filaments Directory and see what other people are using for your machine and your extruder. You may be surprised, yeah? And it's definitely an enabling process to find out that your machine can actually run these materials because there are, there are engineering grade materials and you can find out more on Filaments Directory. I have the link below so you can check that out. 
as you can see, I went a bit crazy. I did go a bit crazy printing stuff out, yeah? Because I just love this filament. I even printed the um, bigotry banana. Yeah. There we go. These things here. Puff. I mean, this is almost, I'd, I'd say almost ABS quality. I mean, that is, it's pretty dense. It's got a nice weight to it. And it's got a really nice, when you pick this up, you'd think it was injected moulded. Honestly, you think it's injected moulded. Because this is really, it's really, so, this is really solid. It's not a, it's not a light thing. It's dense and it's good. Yeah. I've printed the space wrench. Uh, that's it for that. I then went on to try the flex. Now the flex is very interesting because it's very flexible. You can see that, that is flexible, like very, very flexible, yeah. So what do you do with flexible? I printed this, there you go. Flexible, like, let's see if you can get it in there, there you go. That is flexible, that's what it's supposed to do, and it works. I made um, some parts for an extruder, so there, yeah, so it can absorb things. I printed, that is flexible, there you go. Flexible, very flexible. Yeah. And you can see, I did have some issues at the top, you can see here. Part cooling, very important, and speed, yeah. I printed this at, I think it was about 30, yeah, I reckon the speed was about 30 and I dropped that down to 25 because it wasn't happening. When I went a bit faster, it wasn't happening because my setup here wasn't the right setup for it. The part cooling is very important because the filament gets hot, so best to go slow. When I did make, make it go a bit, you know, hotter and faster, I still had issues when it got to the top here. But just a bit too hot, a bit too hot. It is for expert use, so I think I've done quite well with that. Yeah. Then I made a car. Yeah. Now, some people say that what that was impossible, you know, to print. Yeah, because the supports it won't do the support. TP TP won't won't do the support. Yeah. But guess what? Supports. Yeah. Now, so that's your support. Yeah. It came off pretty cleanly. And if you look at the bottom. Not too bad, a few bits, but not too bad for a first attempt, yeah? That came off pretty clean, I think. I mentioned earlier that I printed with hips. So I printed with hips. Now, hips is interesting. That's for hips. And it is as tough as PLA with it. It is a dissolvable material with Lamisol, I believe. But that came out beautifully. And also, it's as tough as PLA. So that's very interesting, very interesting material. I'd like to play some more with that. Another part, tough, that's not going anywhere. As tough as PLA, I won't abuse it. The stuff, if I break it in my hand, it will be slice and dice my hand. But that is pretty tough. Now, I did try some other experiments, bonding the TPU with regular PLA, like so. Yeah. One of the things is to match the temperature. It did bond, but then it came apart. That is something I want to try some more of. You may have more success than me, but again, expert uses. This is for expert users, not regular old me. <laughs> but yeah, I did attempt it, it did come along. I have a bit more experimentation with the temperatures and bonding, and it should get it going. Yeah, Very interesting to try flex with um, regular poly or even the poly PLA tough which we know what this is tough PLA so let's talk about the packaging the packaging is lovely lovely box comes in a nice box 
the unboxing experience was nice. I was surprised by the good branding. Or someone's really thought about the branding all the way through it. Really good branding. Really good box design. It's got a foil, in, foil insert inside and a sealed aluminium sealed bag inside with with desiccant inside of it. Well, package. I mean, even the aluminium foil bag is branded, and that looks like. Um, that, that and that even the silica even the foil bag inside of this looks good that's even branded yeah so well done for a nice unboxing experience of a premium what i would call a premium filament it's not cheap it's premium kodak's done really really well with this yeah. looking forward to seeing what else they put out in their polymer range um all in all not a bad filament, a really nice filament. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please click below, click subscribe and click the bell to be notified when our other videos come out. And I hope you'll um, leave some comments or just click the like button. Just tell me you like it. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Afro 3D Printer, hope to see you again soon.